Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post weekly tutorials here on my channel to help sewers of all skill levels learn new projects and techniques. This week I'm showing how to make a really easy memory pillow sham. I'm using a house dress, but a button-up shirt works just the same. Before we get into the tutorial, make sure you're subscribed by clicking the red subscription button down below so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Here is the house dress I am starting with. I used part of it to create a memory bear already, but I had a large portion left over, so I thought it'd be special to make something extra um, for the lady I was making it for. And this house dress in particular has a zipper up the front portion, and that is very important. You need an article of clothing that has either a zipper up the front or buttons up the front that is an area at least as long as the pillow sham that you want to make. I'm making this to fit an 18 inch pillow so I'll be cutting two squares that are 19 by 19 inches. If you want to make a different size pillow sham just measure the pillow or pillow form that you'll be using from side seam to side seam and add one inch for the seam allowance. To get a 19 inch square out of this piece of clothing I will have to incorporate part of the sleeves. If you're using a larger sized garment then you may not need to do this. I cut the sleeves off leaving plenty of excess and cut down each side seam. I also cut up the shoulder seam and the collar to completely separate the front and the back pieces. Pick one of the pieces and use a long ruler, a rotary cutter, and a rotary safe mat to trim it down to size. I made sure the ruler was as straight as possible with the stripes and the zipper was centered. If your item has a zipper, make sure the tab is below the line where you'll be cutting. It really helps to have two long rulers for this. I have some of my favorites linked down below so you can check them out. Use one ruler parallel from the first cut and another ruler to make sure it's exactly 19 inches all the way across. Continue using both rulers to cut the material until it is the correct size. Since the closure is already included in the piece, you don't need to include any extra seam allowances or anything like that for the closure. I like to use the first piece as a guide for cutting the back piece. This helps it go a little quicker. Lay the two squares right sides together and add plenty of craft clips around the outer edges. Sew all the way around the outside using a half inch seam allowance. I went ahead and surged the raw edges on mine as well to make sure it was nicely finished inside. Unfasten the pillow sham and turn it right sides out. Then just insert your pillow and fasten it back up. So easy and a great way to save those precious memories. If you still want some more memory sewing inspiration and ideas, I have an entire playlist full of tutorials that you can find linked right over here to the side. And until next time, happy sewing.